bariatric surgery for obesity, uh, which I think most of you know it has been increasing over the past number of years and um, is really only recommended for people who have a very high body mass index over 40 in this case. And we've discovered that not only is the, does the bariatric surgery reduce the capacity of the stomach, uh, it also produces certain changes in hormones that uh, influence appetite. So for example, ghrelin, a hormone that increases appetite, uh, is usually reduced after bariatric surgery. Two other hormones, one called PYY, the other one called GLP-1, uh, are considered satiating peptides. And uh, we, we found that after bar bariatric surgery, levels of these two go up. So we have a decrease in a hormone ghrelin that increases appetite and an increase in two hormones that suppress appetite. And these could also be playing a role in how bariatric surgery reduces food intake and body weight. We were also interested in how the surgery might affect uh, the brain. And we used a relatively new approach based on um, functional MRI, which is a way of looking at the brain, not from a structural standpoint, but from a functional standpoint. What we did is we showed uh, candidates for surgery, images of very palatable foods um, such as cakes, cookies, ice cream, as well as images of less palatable but what we would consider healthy foods, fruits and vegetables. And we uh, observed the brain's response to looking at these images. And we did it before and after the surgery. And what we found was that there was a decrease in the brain's responses to both types of foods, but especially for the um, high calorie foods. So we're suggesting that bariatric surgery may also reduce food intake because it ch could change the brain's responses to food stimuli. Now it's possible that what's causing the brain to change its responses could be the changes in the level of the gut peptides that I mentioned earlier. So ghrelin by going down, uh, GLP-1 and PYY by going up could influence the brain to change the way it responds. And we're currently doing a study where we're looking at both together. We're looking at the gut peptide changes after bariatric surgery as well as the changes in neuroimaging after bariatric surgery. 